Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Bringing you another story time video, and this story is going to be about a really, really creepy girl in high school, man, that was just so weird and I, I had to bring you this story I can't believe I haven't told you guys this story already so we're gonna go ahead and get into it if you guys could go ahead and drop a like for me let's try to pass like 700 likes so check the like bar if it's shoot if you want to shoot for a thousand likes on this that would be absolutely amazing go ahead and check the like bar if it's not there yet go ahead and drop one for me that would be amazing of you guys and let's get into the story man oh, I'm so excited I'm not really that excited to relive to relive this moment but basically in high school there was this girl that I had a class with now this girl was I don't want to be mean or anything this girl was just not that attractive or you, you know what let's say she's not my type she's really not my type of girl she kind of looked like a foot and just wasn't the most attractive girl amongst the girl species in my class but she did sit next to a really really hot girl that I talked to all the time so I always talked to this girl I, I used to talk to everybody in high school I was always friendly with everyone just like I am now like I'm so friendly with everybody I like to think and so I would talk to this hot girl who sat next to her every single day and this girl was amazing this girl had my number she would hit me up all the time go to the gym together sometimes and it was great somehow this girl next to her I, I don't know what to call her um, we're gonna call her tits McGee okay tits McGee freaking next to her I did not know she had titties at first otherwise this might have been a different story but Tits McGee was sitting next to her, and she would sometimes chime in here and there and just say stuff, but overall she was kind of shy, didn't really talk too much, but then sometimes she would be kind of like, really have an attitude, which was weird to me, so either way, one day I'm chilling at home, nothing's going on, and I get a text from a random number, I have no idea who it is, I'm like, yo, who is this, and then... Um, they're like, yo, what's up? How are you? And I was like, oh, I'm good. Who, who's this? And this number texts me back and this girl says, what's up? It, it's Tits McGee. You know, she doesn't actually say that, but she says her name. So I start texting her and of course me being a guy and also me being like 17 at the time was just horny all the time, right? Trying to bang everybody. I think that as a guy, that doesn't really ever change. Like, if I could be with a girl right now instead of doing this commentary, I probably would be like, what about you? If you could, if you could be like grabbing booty right now you'd probably be doing that instead of watching my videos that's for sure man drop a like for that booty though no but seriously though you guys seriously one like gets one free booty the booty will arrive at your doorstep tomorrow just kidding that that's kind of weird but this girl starts texting me like every day and she it's weird because she texts me all the time but when we're in class and I try to talk to her this girl won't really talk to me like she won't really talk to me too much she kind of smiles here and there but doesn't overall talk to me a lot so I'm like okay well that's kind of weird I understand that she's probably shy or whatever so we're texting and eventually these texts get a little bit sexual they get a little bit sexy if you if you if you feel me you know they get a little bit sexy and she ends up one day she I think she was like at the mall or something and I was like and she kept bragging about her boobs which to me because I'm not gonna lie to you guys she wasn't the like the best looking girl and she wasn't like fat but she was kind of chubby and like a weird you know when people are like skinny fat she was kind of like that and she used to always wear a kind of big shirt so I could never really tell exactly what she was rocking with and one day she's like at the mall and she's like oh I'm buying bras or whatever she was doing trying to get me to think about her body and she was saying how like Victoria's Secret or whatever didn't have her size because her boobs were too big and people were always surprised and I was like yo your boobs <laughs> like girl you ain't packing heat you you don't got the boobs son so she goes into the bathroom snaps a picture of me like snaps a picture of me snaps a picture for me sends this pic to me of her in her bra and oh my Jesus she was packing some boobies in there I had no idea whatsoever I had no idea she had boobies like that it was, that's why her name in this in this video is tits McGee I had no idea that this was happening I was like very very impressed and from then on I was kind of cool with her texting me like granted for me I don't know if it's just a me thing but if a girl's kind of like not my type but then somehow she got a feature that I really like but like you could grab the ugliest girl in the room and if she's got a fat booty I will still look at her booty and I'm pretty sure that most guys are designed that way like most guys only zoom in on the good features we're not so much like nah that girl's got ugly ears like I feel like girls are really picky but guys are just like yeah she got a great rack I'm gonna go ahead and hit that you know so either way 
This girl starts sending me nudes, like, every day. And of course, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, let's not front here. I sent her some nudes too. She did see over its package, and, uh, I am packing, you know what I'm saying? So it was a pretty, pretty medium-sized package that she was seeing. So it was pretty dope, and she she did definitely have nudes of me, that's for sure. Oh my god. I'm glad that I don't say the names of this, because God knows that one day, like, some of my friends are gonna see my videos, and some of these girls are gonna see my videos, and just probably hate my guts. But either way... This girl still is sending me nudes, and in class, she's still really not talking to me too much, right? But, and, and it was just weird. So, eventually, I got kind of bored of her never talking to me, and I didn't really, like, I wasn't really, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't want to date her, okay? I did not want to date her. I did not want to do that, because she was kind of like, kind of a weird girl, but she just happened to be packing some, some boobies in there, right? So... She ended up never talking to me really during class, so I, I kind of got bored, didn't really talk to her too much. But then, like, a while after we stopped texting, like, we texted every day for a couple weeks, and this is when this all happened. And then after we stopped texting, because she just would never speak, she ends up, like, starting to tell people, like, I had a crush on her, and I was really, really into her, and all of this stuff, which was just not really true. Like, granted, I... Like, yeah, sure, I liked your boobs. Your boobs were awesome. But I wasn't, like, in love with you. Like, she was telling people. She was straight up telling people, like, I was head over heels, like, in love with this girl. And then I started dating a girl. And this girl went to my girlfriend at the time and was telling her how I still texted her. And I was, like, all about her. And I loved her body and all this stuff. And she legit told my girlfriend this. Like, my girlfriend that I was dating at the time, she told her this stuff for, like, weeks straight. Probably a month straight, just all the time. And my girlfriend would always come to me and I'd be like... For real, check my text, son. I don't even talk to that girl. Th this is like creepy at this point. This is super creepy. Yeah, great boobs. Great boobs don't make up for crazy, man. So please, for the love of God, stop. Stop doing what you're doing. And I think that it finally ended because that girl got a boyfriend or something. But I just, I just thought this was such a creepy story. Like, what a creepy, like, obsession, right? Like, why would you go and tell somebody's girlfriend that like oh yeah your boyfriend loves my boobs like that's so weird like yeah you sent me nudes and i never even asked for them but they, they were pretty good booby pics there but man just really weird and uh i figured i would bring you this video and once again like i'm not really one for being like ah she wasn't attractive or she wasn't this but if you're like not an attract i feel like most unattractive people aren't actually unattractive they just don't do stuff right so like maybe wear makeup more or maybe you know get your hair cut or maybe do some push-ups if you're a guy. If you do some push-ups, maybe brush your teeth a little bit more, get that white, shiny smile. All this stuff makes you more attractive. So I, I do want to keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to think that I'm just some weird, judgmental, uh, superficial person because, you know, I know that you guys don't actually come to my house and hang out with me. So if you did, you, you would know that I love... All, all people are equal. All pancakes are designed equally. People are like pizza. Even if it's ugly, it's still beautiful. I love you guys. Drop a like if you made it this far in the video. Love you a ton, and I am over. Oh, wait, wait. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and say, People are like pancakes in the comment section below. Love you, and I am over. And out.